If you want to know the best lesbian movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2019. Is, is there like another way you would prefer or like... Mm. Is this a, like I, I don't think that's the way you think it is. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. I don't know what's going on with you, but I'm not doing this hot and cold thing. I liked you. Let It Snow is a romantic comedy film directed by Luke Snellen and stars Isabella Merced, Shamik Moore, Kiernan Shipka, Odea Rush, and Jacob Adelon. When a blizzard hits the people of small Gracetown, it doesn't show signs of stopping. But luckily, while outside freezes, the heat is rising inside. Around Christmas Eve, sexual and romantic tensions spark between the young people who are forced together by the event. Defined by a charismatic ensemble and just enough comfort, this heartfelt union makes for a joyous family film. You're out and you're so sure of yourself and you're open and you're like intimidatingly cool. <laughs> I am not intimidatingly cool. Number nine. Vita and Virginia. I have need of it. I am bewitched by your writing. It makes me afraid of you. Vita and Virginia is a biographical romantic drama film directed by Chanya Button and stars Gemma Arterton, Elizabeth Debicki, and Isabella Rossellini. Set against the backdrop of a 1920s London defined by political affairs and the rise of literature. We see one literary icon and one socialite spend their days in entirely different circles. But drawn together by a magnetic tension, they soon find themselves in a relationship that also marks a striking turning point in literature. When writing, that is what you must recapture that wave as it breaks and tumbles in the mind. If you listen, it will make the words to fit it. Number 8 Ich muss irgendwie immer an dich denken. Wow. Bist du etwa verliebt in mich? Bonnie and Bonnie is a German romantic drama film directed by Ali Hackam and stars Emma Draganova and Sarah Mahida. Shattering the expectations of patriarchal crime duos, Bonnie and Bonnie takes the infamous duo and makes it all female. Based around lovebirds who are still figuring out how to leave their mark on the world and who get tangled up in a crime adventure of an unusual kind. One that will determine how they show themselves before the other gender. So was geht eigentlich nicht bei uns. Wie sowas? Bei uns ist es schon schlimm, einen Freund zu haben. Jeder hat das Recht auf sein eigenes Leben, oder nicht? Ja? Number seven. Wild Nights with Emily. Imagine if Helen Hunt Jackson wore the same thing every day. What would people say about that? Maybe they'd say her poetry was better. Wild Nights with Emily is a romantic comedy film written and directed by Madeline Olnick and stars Molly Shannon, Amy Simons, and Susan Ziegler. Combining silly humor with deep, clever storytelling techniques, we enter the unique life of Emily Dickinson, who, as we will learn in this intimate movie, had a long-lasting secret sexual affair with another woman. Constantly living in fear of being exposed, we witness how true love must fight on over centuries. Me asked if I had read Whitman. As in, he thinks they are similar. That's how little he thinks of my writing. Whose work do you think we'll be reading in a hundred years? Higginson's or Whitman's? Well, Whitman's. Whitman's and yours. Oh, well. Number six. We are doing what you want to do, remember? Well, what if what I want to do is make sure you are having fun hanging out with me? Season of Love is a romantic comedy film directed by Kristen Baker and stars Dominique Provost Chalkley, Sandra May Frank, Laura Allen, Jessica Clark and Emily Goss. Taking on three complex same-sex relationships, Season of Love explores the lives of three female couples from Christmas to New Year's Eve. All loosely connected, they draw a larger painting and we experience the ups and downs of romance as well as the complications of being queer. Well, I won't make you watch any sports ball, but would you be up for a quick coffee? Your wish is my command. Number five. Stay still. <laughs> Tell It to the Bees is a romantic drama film directed by Annabelle Jankel and stars Anna Paquin and Holiday Granger. Same-sex romance will strike in a hidden and unexpected manner when Dr. Jean Markham befriends a young boy in her surgery, who she takes under her wing, feeling confronted by her own beautiful and melancholic childhood. 
but upon meeting the boy's mother, something else is introduced into their lives that will have its own consequences. No. We mustn't. What did you do to the bees? No, nothing. I am. Um, I'd... Number four. The ground beneath my feet. They can't call him up, so the Ground Beneath My Feet is an Austrian drama film directed by Marie Kreitzer and stars Valerie Pachner, Paya Herziger, and Mavi Horbiger. Drawing a contrast to the dull and unexciting office life of modern business, The Ground Beneath My Feet follows ambitious Lola, who conducts social relationships with the same cold-blooded efficiency as she does as a business consultant. But when a tragic accident forces the past back into her life, her perception of reality shifts. Number three. Marcela, estás a tiempo a tener otra vida. Una vida normal. Elisa and Marcela is a Spanish biographical romantic drama film directed by Isabel Cuaxet and stars Natalia de Molina and Greta Fernandez. Love will find a way. In this depiction of cruel times for romance and emancipation, we witness two women having an intimate and beautiful relationship over 15 years, hidden from the world due to the conditions of 1901. But when one of them takes on the identity of a man, they might finally get the chance to marry. Mi vida normal es contigo. Nadie puede darme lo que tú me das. Nadie. Nunca. Number two. Here, sharp elbows. Not as sharp as your chin. What? Um. Booksmart is a 2019 coming of age comedy film directed by Olivia Wilde and stars Beanie Feldstein and Catelyn Dever. The story follows two academic superstars and best friends who, on the eve of their high school graduation, suddenly realize that they should have worked less and played more. Viewed as pretentious by and determined never to fall short of their peers, the ladies started on a mission to cram four years of fun into one night. So Nick's gonna throw a party at our house. That's that's awesome. It's it's all right. They're you know they're stuck on a boat shitting in buckets. Oh well, that's not really what I meant. Oh jeez. Come on, Tanner. Right, well. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. To show you something fun. Breathe. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't be able to go on to keep living this fucking hellhole if it wasn't for you. And I put my hand on hers. And then she kissed me. Very lightly. And just my bottom lip. Number one. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Vous serez libre. Être libre, c'est être seul. Vous ne croyez pas? Portrait of a Lady on Fire is a 2019 French historical drama film written and directed by Céline Schiama and stars Naomi Merlant and Adèle Henel. At the end of the 18th century, Marianne, a young painter, is commissioned to do the wedding portrait of Heloise without her knowing. Therefore, Marianne must observe her model by day and secretly paint her by firelight at night. Day by day, the two women become closer and Heloise's portrait soon becomes a collaborative act of and testament to their love. Je vais aller à la messe. Vous voulez communier? Je veux entendre de la musique. L'orgue, c'est beau, mais c'est la musique des morts. C'est la seule que je connaisse. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.